Today I want to talk about the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, specifically Premiere and the Media Encoder, which are both applications that I use to help me produce videos for you guys. Now I've seen YouTubers in the past that use Adobe talk about how they want to get uh, bigger, faster, better graphics cards for uh, help with their video rendering and, and that sort of thing. And getting a faster graphics card will in fact help. If your graphics card is supported by Adobe, you are able to take advantage of what is called GPU acceleration. Now, it's often thought that that GPU acceleration, at least thought by people that aren't familiar with it, will actually make encoding the final product faster. And that's just not true. You see, GPU acceleration does not get used when you are finally encoding the final product for the actual video format of your choice. So that means I could pack two Titan X's into my system and it still wouldn't make the final render or the final encoding any faster than it was beforehand. Where having a fast GPU does help a lot is if you use a lot of effects that are supported by that GPU acceleration uh, feature in Adobe. You see, the graphics card actually allows you to render out previews of those effects in real time so that you can be scrubbing through your timeline and actually to have the previews keep up with what you're trying to accomplish. That way you have a live view of how it's gonna look at the end. In addition, the rendering of certain effects to get ready for the final encoding can also be handled by the GPU in some cases. So the real question now is, do you really need a faster graphics card if you're just doing the Premiere Pro and Media Encoder type of workflow in your own setup? To answer that, you really just need to ask yourself how many effects you actually use in your workflow. If you're like me, you don't actually use a whole lot, so by switching to the software-only version of the Mercury Playback Engine, which is just a set of optimizations for um, Adobe Premiere and Media Encoder that allow it to work smoother with modern systems, then you probably don't need a graphics card upgrade if you're just doing talking head videos like this one. If, however, you do longer form pieces that involve a lot of editing, specifically a lot of editing with different effects, then there's a good chance that you could really benefit from that GPU acceleration that is offered by Adobe. So, in review. GPUs will help accelerate the workflow side of things itself. It'll help you render out previews faster so you can make more accurate edits on the fly. It can also do some final rendering of certain effects. However, the final encoding of the actual video, which is where you actually get the output file that is a finished product, is still handled completely by your processor. And even in Adobe Premiere, even if you have a supported graphics card, the processor is still gonna make a bigger impact on the whole grand scheme of things than your graphics card ever will. So hopefully this helps clear a little bit of the confusion up with Mercury Playback Engine and how it takes advantage of GPU acceleration versus software-only Mercury Playback. And if you like this video, guys, give me a like down below, share, subscribe. Those things are super helpful. I'm sort of trying out some informative pieces, so let me know how that's going for you. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. It's convenient because they're both the same. Now, I'm gonna let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane from Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.